My organism is a tropical kingfish. It is very colorful, it is very fast, and it has big teeth. These characteristics allow it to be easily prey on its food. So it lives in the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, which is located off the Yucatan Peninsula in the Caribbean. And daily it interacts with coral reefs, sponges, seagrass, mangroves, dolphins, and turtles. Also, other organisms it interacts with is manatees, seahorses, the yellow goatfish, whale sharks, blue tangfish, and parrotfish. So I chose scenario two, which is the aquatic water pollution. And water pollution causes disease and mortality. It disrupts ecological functions. It also changes dynamic and feeding behaviors. And it prevents coral growth and reproduction. And as human populations expand in coastal areas, the development alters the landscape, thus creating runoff from land. Excess nutrients in the water leads to poor quality and lower oxygen levels, leading to the crowding out of corals. And pesticides also interfere with coral reproduction and growth. To continue on to this effect, the pesticides are toxic to fish in low concentrations, resulting in fish mortality and a decline in fish populations. Also, this can lead to less food options and less predators form an organism. The fertilizers can lead to the buildup of excess nutrients in the water and can lead to algae growth and harmful algae blooms. And when the plants die, the decay process lowers, then the dissolved oxygen level in the water, thus not enough oxygen for the fish to survive. In conclusion, these different effects that are often caused by humans can either kill my fish, kill its prey, and even kill its predators. It can also completely hurt or just destroy, outright destroy a coral reef. And these pollutants from humans is what's hurting the environment, the ocean life, fish, and coral reefs worldwide.